So they say normally in England it's only like 72 degrees on average in July. And today it reached 102, which is hot anywhere. I know in the United States virtually everybody was almost above 100 degrees today. And uh, Europe, it's Walterling. I know in China there's been lots of floods. And it seems like a lot of rivers and lakes have been drying up, including Salt Lake City. That's the big one recently, right? So when you click the Fox News, Fox News says, well, it's normally hot in July. I kid you not, some of the stuff on Fox News made me just want to, like, just take a bunch of Advil so I just don't wake up anymore. And I tell you what, a lot of people are trying to deny climate change, and some people don't understand history. And some people, they vaguely read or they watch some history channel on stuff how climates change uh egypt is a good example of this because back in egypt it used to be very green and fauna it used to rain a lot and things change but in history and when you study science you know when those changes are coming right so scientists know when the next Things are going to happen in science. They know exactly, uh, how can you say this? There's evidence to suggest periodic changes and you can almost put a math calculator on it. But what's happening now is global warming, unfortunately, which does cause se severe snowing. And it could cause severe tornadoes, uh, typhoons, hurricanes, floods, for example. And the big problem is places like England, right? When you build structures and when you build homes, you're building stuff to that environment. Uh, does make any sense what I'm trying to say? So your rooftops and your, uh, your siding and the stuff that you build for the house is made for that environment. Like in America, you build a lot of houses out of wood because that wood's available and you're building to that environment. Like here in the Philippines, the walls are solid cement, but the roof is metal you can't have that kind of roof that you would have in america and some other places in the philippines you can't have a tar roof because of the heat and constant sun right so in england what's happening there's a lot of fires happening because the houses are not equipped to handle that kind of heat beaming down matter of fact they're usually equipped to take the heat and keep it in because <laughs> normally it's cool right so fox news has a lot of idiotic things but I remember even back when I was in college, we had a, a professor who was, uh, what science was he? I don't remember, uh, I don't remember his exact science. Uh, I can't think of the top of my head anyway. But he tried to say global warming didn't happen, even though he's a scientist. I said there's evidence that it does, because yeah, there's that. He instantly contradicted himself. So there's some scientists out there that might not say it does, but the science is sound that people actually study it. So a lot of people out there that even if you, if you don't think that this is global warming, things ain't happening, you'd be wrong. I'm sorry. And unfortunately, what Fox News doesn't understand, and what a lot of people that don't believe in global warming, is you're not exempt. You're not exempt from losing your home. You're not exempt from the floods. You're not exempt from the heat. You're not exempt from any of that. What you think doesn't matter in Mother Nature. It only matters what is and what that science is. And what science says that if we don't change our ways now, it's going to get worse, but we have a chance to reverse all this. And as long as we have a lot of Americans that constantly fight saying it doesn't exist, let's put more oil plants in, let's build uh, more coal, you know, let's more carbon emissions, let's just get rid of all the uh, government uh, laws and all this other stuff and just put whatever we want in the air because global warming doesn't exist. And fortunately, it does. So we are at a, a point, and I've seen the, the flooding in China when that Yellow River, oh my God, man, I'm a good swimmer, but the way that current was, and when you look online, if you find pictures of it, then nobody gonna survive that. Not even anything from the ocean can survive that current. That current was fast, it was strong, and the amount of damage it does when it hit them cities and those poor people, and it come up quick. And China's not alone in that, even though China has some structural problems and they got problems with integrity and uh, shoddy construction, so does a lot of other places, right? And uh, so, yeah, when you, when you think of like places like England 
even northern Canada, you don't think uh, extreme heat like that, but now it's happening. And now rivers and lakes are drying up and people are talking about water rationing and we're talking about all this stuff. And I tell you what, like it or not, every person on place of the earth, on this earth, is going to have to deal with it. Now, it don't matter your opinion. You're going to come face to face with it. I know here in the Philippines, we had some minor floods uh, for different various reasons. We've also uh, had some heat and storms, but most of that would be considered normal so far. So I'm thankful that we haven't had anything too severe, and hopefully it will stay that way. But I tell you what, you know, uh, for those of you who don't think uh, climate change is real, you're not doing your proper research, or you're not looking out your window, or and you're going to get a lot of people killed with that thinking because there's too many of you out there. And some of you are policy makers. And you're not exempt buddy you're not exempt it's going to come for everybody man we have a chance to change it now but if we don't change our ways we're all in trouble every one of us